Hi friends, welcome back to my channel for the people who have already subscribed my channel and for the people who have already recently found my channel, a hearty welcome to my channel. I am Yashwadan, an electronic enthusiastic and electronic engineer who likes to work with electronic circuits and in these videos I should generally share what is, whatever I have, what I knowledge I gain in the electronics. Now. Uh, in the series, in the previous two videos, I have covered how you can check uh, with the help of a multimeter how you can check whether a battery, uh, the voltage of a battery and how you can check whether a multimeter is working perfectly fine or not. Then I have talked about how you can check whether the battery clip that you are using is working is in a working condition or not. If you are, and then in the next second second video, I have talked about the different types of wires that are generally used in electronics and how you can check these wires with the help of a multimeter and also with the help of a small circuit. If you have by chance, if you have missed those videos, I will keep a link in the description below and also you can watch those videos by clicking on the eye, eye icon in the, at the top of the top of the video. Now the topic of this video is the switches. Now when I, the moment I mentioned this video is about switches, Many of maybe many of you might be thinking, Yeshwaram, what is there in switcher that you need to make a video about this? Uh, uh, in general, I might I want to agree with you, but I request you to stay a little bit while in this video to understand what are exactly what are different types of switches that are available in the, that are available in the market and what. Uh, that are available in market which will be generally using in electronic circuits. Now let us begin this video. The first type of switch which I will be talking about is a single pole, single throw switch or an SPSC switch. This is a simple on or switch that is mostly found in our, ho in our homes as a light switch or a switch to turn on or off a stick. In general it has only two terminals and also it has a one slider or this thing. Now, what do you mean by single pole means the number of sliders it is having internally and throw means the number of position it can go. In this state, it has uh, as it has can be in only one position, it can only touch this terminals. So it has only one position and then, uh, but it has two stages. Whenever it is in this, the slider is in this position, it is generally offset. But whenever I push, uh, whenever I close this, this slider connects this, it will be in on state or a closed circuit uh, or a closed state and an open state. So the by this I can define that when what do you mean by by knowing the number of throws that are uh, in throws that the switch is having, we can predict the number of states that the switch we can. Uh, we can produce with the help of the switches. Now, in most of the SPSC switches, you may observe there is a small slit that is given here. You may, uh, as a fresher, you may not understand this, but this slider switch, this slit is given because whenever whenever you are going to buy a new switch, initially, initially they doesn't expect you to on or off a switch accidentally. That is many uh, many times you may observe that people will just uh, click this switch without buying them, without buying them for just for fun, and it might damage the switches. In order to prevent that, this slit is provided by keeping a small plastic uh, frame here. You can prevent the switch from moving, and uh, by technical damage. But once you are using this, you can remove the slit and you can use this very as a normal switch only. Next. The next type of switch I will be talking about is an SPDT switch. It is in this, it looks like this. Whenever this slider is in equilibrium position between both these switches, then both these, between these two it will be in offset and this switch is not close between this, this will also be in offset. But when I push this in upward direction, now the switch is closed in the down, this board will, this board terminals will be closed and this board will be open. That is. Here, this boat will be in on state, this boat will be in off state, and this boat will be in on state. The moment I push this in downward condition, now the circuit is open between these two terminals and it is closed between these two terminals. 
and whenever I position your boat will be in off state. Next, the next type of switch I will be talking about is a SPDT slide switch. Here, the, it is, has a slider and it has three terminal. Whenever slider is in this position, the circuit is on, is an on state between these two terminals and offset in between these two terminals. That is technically it is open, it is closed between these two terminals and it is open between these two terminals. And the moment I push this here, the circuit is open between these two terminals and it is closed between these two terminals. Then the SPDT slide switch. This is also a slide switch, but it is a DPDT slide switch because it consists of six terminals, L engine three, three in each row, L engine two rows. Now, both these rows are identically isolated to each other. That is, this acts as a SPSD switch, SPDT switch, and this has a tool. As it has two it is called a DPDT switch. That is, whenever the slider is in this position, slider is in this position, the switch is closed between these two terminals and these two terminals and it is open between these two terminals and these two terminals. Similarly, whenever I push the slider in this position, now the switch is closed between these both upper terminals and these both down terminals and it is open between these two terminals and, these, uh, and between these two terminals. So this is how a DPDT switch works. Now, as most of the circuits which we are generally designing are be all on PCBs, and there is no and these type of switches are most difficult in order to keep in a PCB. We generally PCB and also in breadboards, we generally prefer to use this kind of switcher, which is called the dual inline package switches. That is, for them for any kind any number of switches, SPSC switches are together form in order identically isolated and together form into a single packet to be used on the PCB design. Here you can observe there are four switches and all four switches are working as a single SPS switch and now all are isolated to each other. That means you can easily turn on or off only a single switch at a time easily. Now this is a four way switch I am having. This is a eight way switch and this is a ten way switch. Apart from this three only other things I am having now but apart from this we are having a, a, a one way switch a two-way switch as well as a three-way switch as well as a six-way switch also is available in the market. Now, the next type of switch which I will be talking about is a momentary push button switch. By, tech, by visual inspection, you can observe the distance between these two pins and these two pins is smaller when compared with this, the distance between these pins, right? So what happens is that whenever I keep the switch in like this generally, the these both terminals are always connected and these both terminals are always connected to each other. That is idea uh, they are always connected but this line and this line are isolated are not connected and it will be like this. The moment the button is pressed uh, or the pressure is applied now all these four terminals will be shorted with each other. So that's what happens here. This is called the momentary, momentary push button switch because the switch is closed only when the pressure is applied or we are pressing the button. Once we are raising the button, the switch will be in open state again. Now, the next type of switch which we mostly will be using is a button switch. In this, there are two types. It is a normally open switch and a normally closed switch. What do you mean by normally open switch and what do you mean by normally closed switch? Normally open switches says that but in general it will be in open state only until unless the button is spread. Once the button is it will be in closed state. Again next time button is spread it will be again open state. In a normal uh, closed switch means you have the switch and when the button in general when you are buying the switch it will be in closed state by default. But if you press that button it will be in open state. And once again the button is pressed, it will be in again op uh, open con close condition. The switch I am showing here is a normally closed switch. And the moment the button it will be in open set. Now I hope friends you have um, you have formed a clear idea about the different switches that we will be using that we will be using in in a different electronic circuits. Now friends, uh, uh, as the as the explanation took a little bit of more time than I expected, 
and if I include the testing part also in this video, the video will be very long. So I am think I will do one thing. In this video, I have explained about the different types of switches. Now, uh, in the in in the next part of this video, I'll be telling about the different uh, about two ways. One using the multimeter, and the second one using a small small circuit control resistor and an LED in order to check whether these switches are working perfectly fine or not. So I hope friends you have understood you have developed a small clear understanding about the, what are different types of switches we will be using and how are they working in the and, and they are working. If you have any doubt related to this please feel free to comment that down below. Um, please feel free to comment that down below. If you like my explanation Please like this video, share it with your friends, and do subscribe my channel to see more such videos. Yeah, more such videos. And if you have any suggestions on what kind of video should I make next, please uh, also feel free to comment that down below, and I will make a video on that topic. Thank you. Thanks for watching, friends. And I will meet you again in the next video with this continuation and uh, with a new concept. Thank you, friends, and have a nice day.